Hi. So, I thought of doing this thing where I film every time my anxiety is going woo and kind of nervous. Don't know how this is gonna go. Even like talking about it right now is kind of making me feel some type of way. But also, I think it's an interesting thing to talk about and it's something that affects me all the time. So yeah, I decided I wanted to make a video about it. So first things first, I'm not going to pretend like I'm like I know everything about anxiety and how it affects other people because I'm not going to speak on that. I feel like anxiety is different for everyone. My anxiety is not going to be like someone else's anxiety. So that being said, I'm going to talk about how it affects me and I'm not going to pretend to know shit about everything else. I'm not a fucking psychologist. But yeah, I want to talk about how it affects me as a person and my daily life because it fucking sucks. So, um, first of all, I think I should talk about some things that I am anxious about. Number one, I'm so scared that people will judge me for no reason. Like literally the biggest one, the biggest one is working out in front of people. I can, I like, I can't work out in front of it anyone not even my siblings i will be so scared that they will judge me for working out which is ridiculous and i know it's my anxiety but i can't help it at the same time and it will tell me that oh hey you're everyone's looking at you and they're judging you why are you here why are you working out that's weird and it's like it's a normal thing that almost like a lot of pe a lot of people do but my anxiety is whack and it tells me that it's weird and people judge me for it i'm also really scared of talking to new people like even ordering food i'm just like uh -huh, they're gonna judge me for ordering food and it's like literally it's so ridiculous and i don't know why I think that and it's like <laughs> but like I do those are the two biggest ones and then sometimes I okay I'm a very affectionate person and I love very hard if I love you then I love you like with all of my heart and my anxiety really preys on that it tells me that I'm annoying and that I'm too clingy and that everybody hates me for being very clingy and very affectionate and that everybody's going to leave me because I'm annoying as hell. So yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> I'm just like always constantly afraid of not being enough or being too much and I'm scared to talk about my anxiety sometimes because it's like too much for some people and like it's hmm, uh -huh, uh -huh. so yeah i don't know how many days this is gonna last but i think it's an interesting project to do i want to film when i'm feeling anxious when my anxiety is like peaking when i'm like feeling like an anxious mess because I've never documented it before and I did okay like I just want to make it clear that I'm not doing this to for people to like sympathize with me or anything I just like genuinely think it's an interesting topic to talk about and you know me if you if you've been on my channel for a while you know that I don't shy away from like hard hitting topics so that being said let's do this I'm excited to see where this goes it's kind of weird thing to say because it's about anxiety but you know yeah let's do it let's see how this turns out mm -hmm. um yeah see you guys later <laughs> hi um i remember i said that i would film every time 
that my anxiety is peaking. And right now, my anxiety is fucking peaking. And I think it's because I have been around people a lot lately. And I'm really, usually, I'm usually really introverted. And so, uh, I think it's uh, made me really anxious. And today I had a shit ton of students. And that was more human interaction. And it's making me really anxious. And I want to stop being anxious, but I just can't. And I just feel like, ah, make it stop, please. Oh my god. Um, so yeah. And I keep moving like this. Or shaking my leg. Or I keep rocking back and forth like this because I can't help it and every time that my like sometimes when my anxiety <sighs> is like this I feel like I have to move just cuz I can't stay still I cannot stay still and I know that it's kinda weird that the first thing I do is set up a camera but this is a project that I'm working on so yeah I feel like I can't really breathe that well and I'm trying to breathe, trying to calm myself down. Just, uh, I think that being around people a lot makes me kind of tired because number one, I'm a super fucking introverted person. I'd rather stay home and watch Netflix alone or be alone in my room for like five hours instead of being, instead of going out and being with people so yeah um <laughs> and I love my friends don't get me wrong but I think it's just because I pick up on people's energies and that kind of overwhelms me because everybody has their own kind of energy and it's like a shit ton of different energies and I'm in <laughs> and that just makes me feel kind of overwhelmed I guess and I'm talking really fast, I'm not talking normally because I know that I'm kind of anxious right now. My anxiety is like, ah, ha, 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 hi. And I'm just like, oh my God, make it stop, please. Make it stop. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to make myself feel better. I don't know what to do. I could normally, I could listen, do what I do normally and listen to anxiety relief videos, but I don't want to hear human voices right now. Like, I just, I don't want to, I, huh, I don't even want to hear, like, anybody talk. I mean, I know I'm talking right now, but it's my voice, and I'm used to it, so, yeah. So, I don't know what to do. I tried watching true crime, which usually calms me down sometimes, because I'm into true crime, but that didn't work. Because I fucking hate human voices right now. And I don't want to hear anybody talk. I don't want to hear the voice of anyone. I just want to sit alone and, you know, uh, maybe, maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll just listen to, maybe I'll, no, no, I cannot listen to anything right now. Maybe I'll just go grab a book and just like lay on the floor and be an anxious ass mess because... I don't want to listen to anxiety relief videos like I normally do because I fucking hate human voices right now. I don't want any human interaction. I don't want to do anything related to any kind of human that is not myself. So yeah. Um. Okay. I feel better now that I've gotten that off of my chest. I'm gonna go read and just sit quietly. Okay, bye. Today has been 
kind of hard for me because remember how I said that I'm terrified of being alone? Well, I've gone through two breakups recently and the first one I made the decision to end it myself because there were just things that I needed out of that relationship that I just really wasn't getting and I decided that it was better to end that relationship but the second one the person broke up with me and it honestly just made me feel empty and hollow and broken and it makes no sense because it didn't even last that long and I don't know why I care so much recently it's just been so hard to be alone even though I know that I should be alone and I should figure out my own things and I need to be by myself but today just hit me like a truck and I can feel my anxiety building up because being alone to me is insanely scary and I'm so scared that every person in my life that I ever love is going to leave me and now I'm so scared I'm terrified of opening up to another person because I'm scared that if I do that ever again then they'll leave me just like these people and I feel like being alone is just so hard and I don't know how to do it. I don't know if I can do it and I'm home alone right now and I feel like that's just kind of making it a little bit worse and I don't know how to deal with it. I am so used to being in a relationship that I really don't know how to be alone and that's terrifying to me and my anxiety, see right now, it's preying on it and I feel like I have to move a lot of the time when my anxiety is like this I just I can't be fucked to do anything I don't even want to take a shower I don't even want to eat I don't want to take care of myself I don't want to do anything and everything just feels like it takes so much energy out of me and I feel like I have to pretend like I'm happy because I don't want other people that I care about to worry about me. And I feel like I have to be strong all the time. And it's terrifying. And I don't know what is going on with my life right now. And I don't know. I don't even know who I am and I don't know what I want out of life and I feel like I've never taken the time to even get to know myself and that terrifies me and I feel like life is so scary right now and I tell everybody that I'm tough and I can take care of myself and that I'm happy and I love myself and I'm really really trying to do that right now but it's just so hard and it makes me feel so scared and my anxiety knows that and 
it's preying on that. And I feel like I'm gonna be alone for a long time. I feel like I'm gonna be alone forever. And I don't know when I'm gonna feel okay again because right now being happy is just such a struggle and I don't know how to make it stop and it's just so quiet and all I have are my own thoughts and I just feel so alone in the world and I don't I feel so alone in the world and I don't know how to deal with it except for me alone. I feel like because I feel alone, I feel like because I'm so used to being in a relationship that I have to be alone and I have to face my fear of being alone by being alone. I just had to get that off my chest. Um, I'm gonna be by myself now. Um, excuse me for not being dressed. I just couldn't really be fucked to get dressed right now or do anything about my hair and I kind of feel a wave of anxiety coming over me. Um, I am doing something. I can't say what yet, but it's for my own safety and I'm probably going to tell you guys about it later, but I asked my mom for help and that was really scary for me but I didn't tell her that because I don't want her to worry about me and it's I know she's my mom and that I'll always be her daughter but because of my past I'm just scared that people that I love are going to leave me and that they're not going to want me and because of the things that I've been through I just am scared about what's going to happen in the future and I'm scared that nobody is going to want me and that I'm just gonna be left alone all over again and I know, I know that that part of my family loves me, but I can't help but think that they're going to leave, or they're not going to want me, or they're not going to want to help me, and then I'm gonna have to keep pretending to be strong, and then I'm just gonna have to be alone by myself and figure out everything alone. And I know it's my anxiety talking, and I know I have to write it out, but it's terrifying to think about. And I almost typed out that asking her for help was scary to me because I have a problem for asking for help because people have told me that I'm too dependent on other people and that it's a problem or it's annoying and I'm very self-conscious about it so I have a problem with asking for help because I don't like being dependent on other people because it means that I'd bother them and I don't want to be a bother and I don't want to bother anybody or make them feel uncomfortable. I'm waiting for her 
to talk to my dad and so we can figure everything out about this thing that's going on and it's just making me so anxious because what if she doesn't what if they both don't want me and what if I'm just left alone again right now I'm scared that people are going to tell me that they want me and then tell me that they don't want me or treat me badly like they didn't even want me in the first place. That's terrifying. I'm terrified of being alone and I'm scared that my family is not going to love me. I'm scared that they're all going to leave me and they're not gonna treat me right. They're going to treat me in the same way that I've always been treated and that they're gonna walk all over me and I know that's not how they are. They're not those kind of people, but I can't help but think that. I feel kind of chest heavy. I'm having trouble breathing and I know I'm spiraling a little bit. Um, but I got a little bit out of my system so I'm going to go listen to some anxiety relief videos. I'll put some of them that I listen to in the description. So if you have anxiety, you can try and listen to them when you have anxiety attacks. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go calm myself down right now. Um, yeah. Hi, so this is editing Omrita. I just got done editing everything. I feel like that's enough content. Um, I don't really want to call it that, but like that's enough of me filming my anxiety attacks because if I f kept filming it would just go on forever because this is my life. Um, but that is a little look into what my life is like living with anxiety. Now, I'm gonna say this again, the way that I deal with my anxiety and the way that anxiety affects me is not going to be the same as um, how anxiety affects someone else. I feel like mental health is different for every person. We could be going through the same thing and react very differently and I just really want to emphasize that I am in no way, shape, or form a mental health professional in any way and I'm not going to pretend to be. This was just so I could have a chance to talk about my anxiety and how it affects me and honestly I really want to say that if you are going through something or if you do have anxiety I just want you to know that you're not alone I am not the only person who deals with anxiety and I know that and anxiety sucks and if you feel like you are alone know that you're not I am with you other people are with you and I feel like mental health is just not talked about enough and not enough people understand it so that's kind of why I made this video. I thought it would be an interesting thing to film. And yeah, I could talk a little bit about it and you guys could understand what it's like for me. I will um, leave some videos that I found. I recently found a playlist for anxiety relief. So I'll link that down below. And I will link the videos that I listen to when I'm feeling anxious. Um, yeah, as always, I love you guys very, very much. Please remember that you are not alone in this struggle. I am with you, and whoever you are, I love you, and I hope you are doing very well. Um, make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you would like more videos from me. Bye, peeps. Rock on.